and I'm so happy to have to be here and uh, to be with all of you. Uh, so let me just say a couple of a couple of uh, convey a few few thoughts here. First time I was here, it was the dead of winter, and it just wasn't the same. I mean, <laughs> this feels really good, you know. It was, um, and so uh, John uh, uh, John Rago, uh, who always worries about me, gave me all these little notes to say about art, you know, like here's how important art is and you know, I don't have to be told how important art is. You know, we, uh, after 20 years down on the riverfront, uh, Tina and I uh, conspired to bring great art to the riverfront up and down that magnificent riverwalk because we just know how important it is uh, for a sense of place. Uh, not only does it reflect the soul of a community, I think uh, it's infused with the soul of a community. And so to me, uh, being here today, uh, thinking about the potential for this magnificent spot on this side of town, which, uh, you know, we just really want to support in every way. So, um, you know, I think uh, Urban Bike and another place for uh, a, a gr another great creative corner of the uh, city is a pretty exciting prospect for me and I'm just so happy to be here and we're so happy to support that project and I hope we can be here when we uh, talk about uh, the next phase that I know Laura and all her team will be uh, coming by to see us about. So um, let me just um, end with those words and pass the mic over to Speaking for council, member of council this year, Xanthia Oliver. Thank you, Mayor. Hi, I'm Xanthia Oliver, third district. This is the third district run. I'd like to thank everybody who was involved with this project. It's been an ongoing project for several years now, and I'm excited to be a part of this um, with uh, Tina and uh, Urban Bike League. And it's, I think this is a great addition with all the new homes coming around here. I think this is really, really a good step in the right, uh, in the right direction. And I, seen, I have seen and dropped off some of the, uh, the children down here to take advantage of the bikes. So I think this, like I said, this is really a good addition to the east side, overdue, well needed. And that's all I have to say. Thanks again. I'd like to uh, acknowledge our council president, Hanifa Shabazz. Uh, thanks again. Good afternoon. I'm uh, Tina Betts. I'm Acting Director of Cultural Affairs for Mayor Pazicki. Thank you, Mayor. And I'm also president of the city's uh, nonprofit, City Fest Inc. Um, I would also like to, um, I'd like to say hello to Shefan Taylor, um, who's a member of the Office of Cultural Affairs, and to Tanya Richardson, also a member of the Office of Cultural Affairs. And Tani Washington, Tanya Washington, who's Chief of Staff for the City of Wilmington. <laughs> um, for many years, over and over again, communities all around uh, this country and really around the world um, have seen the arts as something much more than something pretty to look at or, you know, nice to listen to. Um, arts have transformed communities all around the world, over and over and over again. And it's something that uh, we who are in arts administration or who are artists, we, uh, we continue to work to prove over and over again, but we don't mind because it's a, it's a work of love. About six years ago, um, and Hanifa was involved um, in this conversation about six years ago, uh, the Washam sisters, um, who were the, the most recent transformers of this space as the Urban Environmental Center, um, decided that they wanted to retire. Um, so when they left this historic building to my left and the stables to my right and these grounds, um, we decided that we just couldn't leave it uh, not functional, that it needed to be an important functional part of this east side community, a very important part of this community. Clifford Brown Walk is right behind us. Um, Howard Vocational is right down the street. Across the street um, is a public art site, Twin Obelisk for Brownie, um, that the Baker administration commis commissioned and had installed. So this is a continuing effort 
to revitalize, to renew um, this area, this important area of the city, the east side of Wilmington. Um, now, six years ago was a little bit premature. Um, and I say, and I'm going to say that it was fortunately uh, that we did not move forward with this project six years ago. Because had we done that, we would not have the opportunity to uh, become partners with the Urban Bike Project. And this partnership is such a special project. Uh, I honestly believe that this project, in partnership with the Urban Bike Project, will be one that, will, that the country will see as um, something that they can use to replicate in other areas. Um, so it is my pleasure now to introduce Laura Wilburn, Executive Director of the Urban Bike Project. Well, we moved into the space Urban Bike Project did back in 2013, and at the time we were unaware of uh, the plans that City Fest had put into place. Um, we were just looking for a new home. Uh, we, we come from smaller places, and, and the building we were in across the river at the time was uh, slated for demolition, so we needed a new home, and the city was very generous and worked with us in putting us here. It's been a wonderful location for us. We've been able to increase our programming several fold. Um, and what I love about working for Urban Bike Project, what I love about the bikes is how kids are just naturally drawn to it. And we don't have to go out and find the kids. They want to ride those bikes. They want to learn how to fix them. And to be able to see how they grow in confidence and how they grow in skills is so inspiring. You know, I've worked with many youth in the city and, and a lot of them when they first come in they don't feel very capable and I remember one child in particular was very quick to give up and he put the tools down and say I can't do it you have to do it and you know one day I looked at him and I said you're a really good mechanic I've seen you do really amazing things when you put your mind to it you can do this and it was like a flip just switched and ever since then this kid was right in there with the tools, getting dirty, fixing up his bike. And I think I love watching too that creative problem solving and that creative process. For these kids, their bikes are a creative expression. And it is, in a sense, a functional art. And I think that's not just limited to kids. I think that's adults as well. I think many of us have found moments of expression through riding our bicycles. And um, perhaps it's riding through one of Wilmington's many beautiful miles of trail in our parks or through uh, the city and, and witnessing interactions of, of our residents um, and, and how beautiful and inspiring those moments can be. Um, so I'm very, very excited to be here working with City Fest to create, I think, a space that will be inspiring to all kinds of folks in the city of Wilmington and will reach across ages and will reach across all of these different groups of people. Um, so thank you all for being here. I'm ready to sign. Okay, we have an agreement. We're going to step over here and have our signing ceremony. What's going to happen is the mayor is going to sign the first one on his right. The one on the right is with the Urban Bike Project, and the one on your left here is with City Fest. So you'll do that one first, and then switch over to City Fest. 